hello everyone so in the previous video we saw how we can write the uh, bootloader which basically boot server system and we were able to see welcome to learn os message on the screen uh, in the previous blog i mentioned that we will be looking at how we are going to load the kernel in the memory but uh, in this in today's blog post we are not basically going to do that uh, it's going to be a little bit lengthy so i thought let's do the do that part later and before that it will be better to cover some basic fundamentals before we get into that so uh, today we are basically going to look at uh, bios memory map <coughs> and we will see a significance of a memory address 7c00 so let's get started on that so have a look at this particular diagram which talks about uh, you know how when bios loads up uh, how your memory gets utilized so as you can see when your machine starts from 0 to 500 uh, what we have is a interrupt vector variables and a uh, sorry table and bios data area <coughs> after 500 till 7c00 uh, this is an unused memory it can be used for some more things and all uh, but generally it's a unused memory free memory and then bios will when bios loads our boot sector a program which we wrote earlier it's loading inside a memory and it loads inside a memory at a memory address that's 7c00 and it's a 512 bytes so it it ends at 7000 after that we have some more free um, memory unused memory uh, here we can load few more things from our boot sector uh, we have about 638 kilobytes so if we are comfortable with that we can load our uh, second stage boot sector boot loader basically or maybe we can load kernel inside this uh, after that you can see that uh, there's an extended bios data area video memory and bios which is being loaded in the at the memory address 9fc00 till about uh, you know 100000 or 1 lakh after that it's all free memory so as you see here that this is how the bios loads of a program and you know this is the memory utilization basically so our, so in this blog we are really going to see whether bios really puts our program into 7c00 or not so we are going to perform some series of operations and verifications which will verify that yes uh, bios loads our program into this particular memory address and we will see how we can actually achieve that and with that we are also going to see uh, how we can offset our memory address in the program globally so that we don't have to compute memory address all the time so let's get started so i'm going to go to the directory where i have my program uh, sorry the code copied so i'm just going to run the uh, sorry open the uh, boot.asm file so this is something what we created last time which prints hello or uh, sorry welcome to learn os i can just run it and show you that that's basically what it is doing so let me do that yeah so you can see it's printing on the screen which says welcome to learn os okay so now let's 
see the memory address thing now so first thing that we want to do is uh, of course we will put into a teleprompt mode and uh, you know last two bytes are important that's a boot signature okay now let's write some more things so what we are going to do is uh, i will just simply go ahead and print one on the screen I'm going to use 10 interrupt uh, let's see yeah so you can see it prints one on the screen okay now what we want to do is uh, i'm going to create one variable called data text data underscore text basically it's a location and uh, let's try to print zero okay and on this one i'm going to say move al to data underscore text and let's try to print it one more thing i will do i'll also put jump this is an infinite loop so uh, it will not halt the program or restart the machine but it will just halt halt the uh, sorry it will just continuously loop into this uh, so a very simple program print a on the screen and then we will see if we can print zero on the screen or not uh, what i've written here is uh, not the correct one because when i say data underscore text we are basically uh, you know mm, we are addressing the pointer here and not the data but let's see if it works or not so yep and let's run this okay so you can see something is coming up on the screen but it's not zero it's a junk character so that's as expected what i'm going to do is we'll let's try to reference the memory address or access the memory address so this is going to be our second attempt and this time i'm going to use a square bracket so square bracket will say that we are going to print the content of this particular memory address okay uh, let's do that now fsm boot dot asm and again run the qemu okay we can see two is coming up on the screen and after that it's a blank so it's still not printing zero uh, that's because uh, our program does not know that data text is at which memory location so okay now let's you know try something around that okay let's do the third attempt so in third attempt we will uh, so first thing i'm going to do is uh, print three on the screen and then we are now going to use our bx register so this is the bx register of the cpu and we will set the B bx register. so bx register is basically a base pointer of our cpu so we are going to set this to uh, 7c00 as you can see on the screen this is what we are doing after that we will add uh, our data text into this into the bx register and then move the al to bx and let's print on the screen let's see if this works or not yes we can see zero is appearing on the screen so on the third attempt we are able to see the zero now what exactly we did and why we are doing add here so here we are saying that we want to uh, move our pointer to this particular memory address after moving here we are adding the data underscore text now why do we need to do that why why can't we directly print this because remember that uh, our code our program basically contains many things not just data underscore text but it also contains uh, you know move to this teleprompt al and things like that 
now in general if you look at it from the computer point of view computer doesn't really care much about whether it's a data or it's an instructions and all everything gets loaded into the memory uh, with this what happens is that the memory lo location of our data underscore text is not 7c00 7c00 is a starting point of our program but not of the data underscore text so all we are doing is after moving to 7c00 we are adding the data underscore text into this and that's what we are moving to so let's let's look at this in a better way so i will just simply you know do the fourth attempt and in the fourth attempt uh, we are going to try and access the memory address directly so that is going to be 7c2c and then int 10h okay let's run this and now if i run the application yes you can see it shows 40 so that means in the fourth attempt as well we are able to get zero okay now if you're wondering how i'm able to get this 7c2c so what's happening is that when i compile my program okay uh, you can see it creates a boot.bin file as well so boot.bin file is uh, the entire binary dump of this uh, our code compiled code so in the boot.bin we will be able to see the memory location of our zero so let me open the hex dump so i'm going to use our program called hxd and going to load the boot.bin so this is the boot.bin and in this you can see zero is somewhere here okay what is the location of zero it's at 2c so what is the starting address of our program it's a 7c00 so if i add 2c into 7c00 what we get is 7c2c and when we print the print it that's what we are seeing on the screen and that's a zero on the screen yeah so we get a zero so this verifies that our program is loading at 7c00 uh, but now uh, you know every time we need to compute this address by adding this or we need to remember uh, you know calculate the offset whether it's going to be 7c2c or what it is going to be now that's something which is going to be a little bit tedious um, so let's see how we can actually do this in a better way so what i'm going to do is we will introduce something called as org so this basically says that origin point of my application in the memory address is going to be 7c00 application or a program let's say program is going to be 7c00 after that we will do the teleprompt mode and i'm just going to remove all of this and uh, you know let's make it simple Oops, sorry let's make it simple in the first attempt we will try to print data underscore text on the screen remember now we are not doing anything like add or move our bx register add add into the bx register nothing like that so we are just simply uh, you know moving our al register to data underscore text and then we are going to print on the screen so let's see if that works or not so if we something's wrong one minute oops i have to just do this because now okay why do i need to do this because now our origin is different so all i'm doing is saying that the program should be of about 510 bytes and then dollar minus dollar dollar that means whatever the remaining space is going to be fill it with zeros and then additional two bytes will be double a double h let's compile this compiles and let's run this yes in the first attempt itself we are able to get the 
zero on the screen yeah so this is a very simple program and this is something what we need to keep into consideration origin point so when our program loads up uh, the cpu will set the base register at 7c00 so when we move it into data underscore text or to the data underscore text cpu does auto computation of the memory address because it knows that the base is 7c00 so it will do the auto computation and it will move it to uh, 7c2c no not really in this case it's not 7c2c in this case it will be something else let's say in this case what it is so in this case if you see it's d that means it's 7c zero d let's see if that's really that or not so if i'm going to do this zero x seven c zero d let's compile this let me close this compile it and run this yes it is so let's undo this run execute yep we are able to see this so as you can see our location of this zero changes as our program size decreases or increases so we always had to compute where the zero is going to be but now we don't need to because we are using this origin pointer so that basically you know uh, uh, it talks about why we need to use org zeros x 7c00 so this so this is the end of our video for today uh, in the next blog what i'm planning to do is uh, get into a bit more advanced stage where we will switch from real mode to the protected mode in the cpu after that we will initialize the video adapter basically a display currently our display is initialized but it's a teleprompt mode we are going to loaded into a graphics mode and uh, after that uh, we will load the second stage put loader which will initialize the file system now currently i'm thinking that we will probably create our own file system but let's see how things are progressing but so far that's what i'm planning uh, i may plan to ditch the own file system and maybe go with fed 32 or fed 12 but let's let's hope that we can do our own file system so that we can understand things better and we can make mistakes we learn from the mistakes and we'll be able to understand operating system in a much better way so that's it everyone uh, if you really like this video if you want to see more and videos about this how to develop an operating system feel free to like the video subscribe also you can uh, visit my blog link given in the description of this video uh, that will give you more insights into this and it's not just about developing an operating system but you will see more blog post about technologies and maybe other things so do visit my blog as well and subscribe my channel and if you have any questions any comments you can either post it on the comment section of the video or you can go to the blog post and uh, you can comment over there as well you can ask question there as well so thank you so much everyone for staying with me till end of the video i hope you really enjoyed this uh, and you learned something thank you very much see you soon